Okay, so before I get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support recently on the channel, and I just hit 500 subscribers, thanks to all of you, and I just wanted to say thank you and to show my appreciation. But anyways, to get into today's video, we're going to be talking about pillars and stacking with pillars. I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of this. I'm kind of... um. When it comes to pillars, when I had tried to stack pillars previously, say, in just a, a grid, like a foundation grid like this, it, it was never this easy. Or I'm an idiot. But now I, I, I can fill these in. We'll, we'll get into this. Okay, so the first thing I want to get into is I just wanted to share this. So if we place a bomb here. Okay. I'm just going to stand here so that... Now I've already tested this before, but naturally the pillars behind it and your that one that you saw was actually the pillar through. But the pillars behind it are going to take one damage. Of course the ones in the front are going to take the brunt of the damage, but thanks to the ceiling, those up there Took one damage as well. Also, with a repair hammer, you can hit every pillar through this. You can hit the ones on the bottom that are giving the support. You can hit the ones right in front. It's, it's, this is great for a rat. So when I started messing around with pillars and explosives, I got I got really excited. I was like, wow, there's a lot of applications you can do with this. I've always heard of people talking about pillars and stacking with pillars. A lot of people don't do it because it's very time consuming. This right here isn't even all the way filled in and it took me forever. Now, this is also using the one stacking method I showed you. Now, mind you, if you're doing any of this on official, I'm just going to say you're doing it at your own risk. I would suggest not doing any of this on official. Now, <laughs> it's 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 ironic because if I tell you don't do any of this on official, but it's like, well, I can place a pillar right here and I can lower it all the way into the ground and then I can... Just do it again right next to it. Is this considered an exploit? According to Funcom, I would assume it is, even though that's just how pillars work. That would somehow be against the rules. So if you're unofficial, please, if you do decide to use any of this, use it at your own discretion. I do not encourage it. I encourage using these things on private servers and unofficial servers that allow you to, you know, have a bit more freedom with your building. But anyways, if you did want to do this and stack pillars in between what you currently have with the stacking method I have shown, it is viable and it is possible. Over here, I was just messing around. I was just building a weird little base. And, you know, you, ha you have your doors, right? Well, the whole idea with the pillars in between was, one, to give you a smoother transition from door to door, which is always nice so, you know, you don't have to jump. But if they're at your door and they're pushing in, you could just pop a pillar down, which means if that door goes, they have to take care of the door frame as well. And you could easily repair the door frame and the pillar. But if they get through that door, you can place another pillar, place another pillar, another pillar. This is just the point of being annoying. So the raider has to waste more time, more bombs, and it gives you more time to react, counter, do whatever you need to do. Just little things. I'm just... I'm just testing pillars and the possibility of them. I even put pillars on these corners. So if, you know, they're blowing through the sides, they have to spend more explosives. They have to take more time. I'm starting to really enjoy the functionality of pillars and how I can apply them to a base. But over here, what I'm going to touch on is probably my favorite. So you would start with your typical square fence foundation. Of course, you know, you'd fill it in with fence foundations if that's what you want to use. You can use walls, it is easier, and you can place the walls once the pillars are in there and you don't have to worry about the fence foundations being buggy. But right here, I have this filled in. I don't have these filled in currently because I had removed them, but, you know, just fill them in. They don't necessarily have to be perfect when you're placing them in a square as long as it's perfect enough so it keeps them out and they have to spend more time and more bombs. But anyways, I'm going to pick up this ceiling right now because I like to stack the pillars first and then place the ceiling. 
This ceiling is now snapped to the fence foundations. So if this fence foundation wall was to go and say a bottom pillar was, the pillars will stay thanks to the ceiling. Once the ceiling goes though, the pillars that do not have support anymore will drop, but you still have your stacked pillars behind it, which I think is really nice compared to having say one fence foundation going through the middle. You can do that and then fill in those gaps. Mind you, with the current way fence foundations are, the old stacking method was something along these lines where you would have multiple fence foundations in there and you could fill this in with the ability by having a ceiling on top and then your fence foundations would snap onto those fence foundations through the ceiling. They don't like to do that anymore. And it's just fence foundations now. This is just fence foundations now. Even if I replace this one with the sandstone one, I'm I'm not getting it in there. It, it's not happening. It's got something to do with the collision of a fence foundation reacting to other stuff around it and just it's it's like there's collision here. I'm not going to place. No matter where I spam this. It's not going. It's not going in there. So, you can't do the whole ceiling stacking with the fence foundations. Maybe you can and someone's figured out a way. I haven't figured it out yet. If you have, let me know. I'd love to mess around with it. So, otherwise, you'd have to put no walls. I don't like that. I don't like that, and I'm sure you don't like that. So this is why I keep going back to this. I think it's very viable. Now I'll, I'll just give you, there, there's nothing special to this, so I don't really need to give you a tutorial on this, I don't think. But all I do is, depending on what corner I'm placing it in, and these don't have to be perfect when they're being placed in a square. All I do is hold shift. I lower it all the way into the ground. I get it as close as possible. And that's it. Now, if you are using fence foundations as your border, like always, just remember to place them first. Because for some reason, so say I was to stack the pillars all the way up, and then I was like, oh, forgot to place my fence foundation. It is not going to let me place that fence foundation there. It's already sensing a foundations in the area for some reason on that side. It's too close. It'll let me place them there but I would have to delete that one and then replace it. But at least you don't have to delete it nowadays. You can pick it up. So if you make a mistake, it is easily fixed. And that's it. Once you stack them, you, know, you can place your ceiling. Make sure though, I have had it snap weird. Make sure that the ceiling is snapping to the fence foundations or the walls, whatever you're using and not the pillars. But if you did it right, then when you were to pick up that one, they should all stay there. So I just wanted to make this video and share this with you. Um, I'm still experimenting with them. And I think if you've got time on your hands and this is something you want to look into, I think in the long run for rating purposes, I like using these pillars more. Yeah, it's going to take me more time, but I feel in the long run, this is going to pay out. I feel like I don't have to explain much on how this is applied. If you are new to pillars and you haven't actually messed around with pillars before, it's they're very simple. They, they just do it on their own. I swear I don't remember pillars being this way before because before when I tried to stack pillars in an area, it, it, it would just tell me no. But now I can just get them so close together that it's almost building a wall of pillars and it's... It, it, it's kind of nice. I hope this helped you. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can apply this. My favorite method is going to be this, provided 
you can fill in the gaps with the stacking method I have shown you with pillars to give it more added protection depending on where you're building. This, of course, does work better on flat ground, flat spaces, so keep that in mind that if I was to go over here where it's uneven terrain, and naturally you can even, if even if I place it as low to the ground, you can take the time to try to match the pillars, but you're going to get gaps like that. If you're in an area where the gaps don't matter, then it doesn't matter. But anyways, like always guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope maybe this gives you some ideas for your building and uh, maybe some ways you can implement it. Like I said, don't use this on official. Uh, if you do use it on official, uh, that's not my, it's, I can't stop you from using this on official, but I would suggest not to. I don't want you guys to get your base wiped or, you know, possibly banned. The funny thing about the pillars though, it's like they just do this. So am I, am, are you really like, come on Funcom, am I really exploiting here? I am able to put a pillar right next to each other. How am I exploiting? Okay. How is me putting pillars in a square exploiting? How is this an exploit? This is your building system. I'm just using your building system and finding ways to help fortify my base. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy the content and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like, uh, leave comments. If you have any ideas or tips for me, things that I may have missed, things that you would like to see me try in videos, uh, just shout it out in the comments and let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.